Hello everybody, welcome to Chalice Round of 16 match. We've got Burbu in the blue with Nurgle up against Crucifer, the legend of Blood Bowl 2 with Red Necromantic. So this is 1700 TV cap, they're both 1700. The Nurgle are a little bit lagging, right? Oh, no, I much. won't give in until a I'm glorious victorious resub from and Odo. I will defend. I will defend. Is this NAF? <laughs> this isn't now, but thank you very much, Odon. It is res, though. It is resurrection. They've made the playoffs resurrection, so there's no permanent deaths. Um, whatever you qualify for, you will play all of your playoff games, which I think is a good idea. You know, like that's how they're both 1700 still, and at least you're getting kind of fair games later in the tournament, right? Um, otherwise. You know, they could all start at 1700. Crucifer could, like, get loads of skill ups, have 1800. And, like, Chunter could have, well, Burbu could have started with 1700 and then got down to 1500. And then they could be playing, you know, 1800 versus 1500 now. Unfair game. At least now they're both 1700. So there you go. And thank you very much, Odon. Staying fantastic for seven years. Unbelievable. 21 Who Will Beaver pregnancies. Outrageous. Um, thank you very much. Right, let's um, keep looking at the teams. Uh, yeah, there you go, exactly, hold on, yeah. So like, it, it, it takes away some of the fun of the cup as a viewer, but at least, you know, because like, it's fun, right? It's funny if this guy just gets stomped out, fouled and killed game one. It's just funny. But it, it does make it fairer. So we've got a rookie bloater, got some block and guard, and basically he's only got two players. He's got a, he's got a decent ball carrier, but only movement six. And he's got a decent killer. Um, but yeah, not nothing too powerful. And then the Necros, on the other hand. Got Block Guard. Block Guard 90. Uh, tackle. Guard 90. Shadowing, is that? I guess he's taking some randoms here. Mighty Blow on both walls. Cruz, interesting. No, uh, oh yeah, sidestep there with a the tackle. No sidestep on this one. A block and a dirty play. I'm sure these were randoms. And then a ball carrying. But only movement 7. Ghoul. And a ball carrying movement eight goal. So there you go. Um, pretty good. Pretty good team. I don't know. So Chris is good. And uh, Chris was an absolute legend of Blood Bowl 2, and it's nice to see him in Blood Bowl 3. Oh, that's Fend, is it? Thank you. It is very expensive, my ball and ball too. Super expensive. I'd rather just have the strength on one, honestly. But, you know, Mighty Blow is really good. And Mighty Blow and Claw does make the Mighty Blow a little bit better. Not as good as it used to be, but a little bit better. Look at Dog gets a Mighty gets a ball down to protect him, so. <laughs> yeah, for, look, it's funny as a spectator. It's horrible for the players, but it's funny for us spectating, isn't it? It's definitely funny for us. Spectating. Set up the massive conga line of assists here so we can blitz around the back here. Dangerous though with foul appearance and counter blocks. He's trapping himself. There we go. He does feel a foul appearance. And he is going to get hit by Claw Mighty. You know, you're going to have a you're going to have a free go at him on three dice, and then you're going to smash him with this guy. I don't get him. Diced. Diced again. Diced again. I don't think I'd have done that. I'd have, I would have gone for the blitz after the initial fail, to be honest. Gets the full power. And doesn't break AV. Classic. It is weird seeing Chris on choice, non choice, isn't it? Really? If you want fairness, play chess. Well done, Chigan. <laughs> Chigan, of course, who had a great record. With uh, ogres, 
Or so I thought, until I realised he had Cindy Ogres. <laughs> so unfortunately, you know, respect instantly gone. <laughs> Okay. I, I saw the first game and I was like, bah. I watched the first game because I wanted to see what your build was, right, with ogres. Because I, I much prefer the six, six ogre build. And then I was like, all right, Cindy then. <laughs> but only three or four, that's fine. Very well done. <laughs> he is basically off brand store, yeah. But you know, look, store is so good <laughs> that even even dollar store store is good. <laughs> Stores are majestic diplodocus and chickens like an iguanodon. <laughs> Very good, Demento. <laughs> uh, absolutely, Demento's clip of him is is Elliot Tatum the same as Star Wars? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a fair, it's an absolutely fair claim to fame, to be honest. Oof. That was a shitty one nine, wasn't it? I love how the Claw Mighty Wolves have done nothing, right? They've just blitzed, they've just blitzed Foul Appearance twice and done nothing. And then they've been hit back and haven't been killed, but... Haven't got a knockdown yet, the Wolves. But still getting to hit the, like, he's, you know, he's going after the, the Rotters, isn't he? The Bloaters, sorry, he's going after the Bloaters hard. Maybe Burbu could be protecting them. I was going to say better, maybe at all. Only gets a stun. Just an elf coach. Ah, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. That that checks out. That checks out. I'm an F. I'm an elf coach. All of my majors were well, not majors. Chalices were won by going mighty blow first. Bash teams. <laughs> <laughs> What dinosaur is Volk? Uh, Velociraptor. 100%. I am here. <laughs> Thanks, Ordant. Ordant is here. Oh, well, there's a Kaz. I wish I, wish I could hear Elliot's opinion on that casualty. I am here. <laughs> Fuck <rapid. laughs> Do you know what? Um, he might be the fake. Um, was it Dilophosaurus? Do you know the one in uh, the one in Jurassic Park where it's got like the frilly neck thing? That could be him. That could be Volk. No, oh, one D Blitz. Oh, Juan D. Into a two. Gets the pow. Mega banging. I mean, this is just a massacre, isn't he? He's got so much guard. And, like, he's been rolling pretty shit. Just can't knock anyone over the walls. When he does, he doesn't do any damage. I hate this bitch, by the way. Foul appearance. It's mad how, like, Completely unexciting. Chris's dice have been. Yeah, he still made two two removals. Taken one. Wait, no. He's made one and taken two. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. He's taken two removals and he's he's made one though. He's made one removal. That's Chris. But he's getting out bashed somehow, despite making like three times as many blocks as his opponent <laughs> with claw might and stuff. It's a 
full pow on the rookie. Let's get some of this one. Oh my god, a Kaz. Regen fail. Oh wow, we're in danger. This is very dangerous for Chris now. Fails the dodge. He was he was edge busted. But he was going for the hit on the ball, wasn't he? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that was just an instant 2D on the ball. 75% of the time. Fair play. This is definitely a dicing thus far, yes. Yes. Like it's kind of interesting that Cruz hasn't like particularly played like like he hasn't done anything creative or anything, right? He's just banged. He's just tried to bang and has failed to bang <laughs> and instead has got banged. <laughs> but um he certainly banged harder than Burbu has. Like he's made better The pro I mean, the problem okay, maybe is a criticism to level um, it, these are res now, Demento. These are res now. So funny you should mention that. Um, the interesting thing is maybe he could have been targeting Pestigors and Rotters, right? He has been hunting the Bloaters. Um, so maybe, you know, that was a mistake from Cruz. Maybe he should not have been targeting the Bloaters with the Wolves. You know, even obviously that's where you get most value from Claw. Um, you don't want to have to roll multiple. Foul he gets more repeat. He gets more value from foul appearance, right? And he's getting hit twice than he's getting hit once. So it's uh, that's an interesting wrinkle. How long that go? Yeah. Th thanks for interpreting it that way, old <laughs> Doesn't base the ball? What? Oh man, basing the ball would actually have been alright there. Wouldn't it? He's got three players back here. Doing basically fucking all. And he could have jammed in. Would have had tackle on the ball. Oof. That was a bit of a mistake, I've got to think, from Burbu. <laughs> so this is a joke from Odont, and my joke answer is yes, of course. It is weird how some people thought that about him, or at least said it about him. But you know, people aren't generally very good or smart <laughs> so it's not really surprising is it when you know when roughly half of America thinks that they're eating the cats and the dogs and they're uh, got weather machines <laughs> controlling the weather and stuff um, you know uh, half, well not half a third of England voted for Brexit you know when you've got people making these kind of decisions it's not too ridiculous to think People that um people think that Christopher's bad at Blipple. But he's not bad at Blipple, but he's very, very good. Funnily enough, this is interesting. I'll tell you I'll pause it here. Talk about Cruz. Um there was a there was a there was a one world one blood ball, which I was on, with Andy Davo and obviously PC. And uh, after it finished, we had a little chat, and we were talking about who we rated the most. Now, obviously, on private conversation, I won't, I won't expose anything they said. But what I thought would be an interesting thing would be if you had to make a team of four of any play, any players, and you could make a team of four to win UKTC. Who would it be? And do you know what? I think if you exclude, if you exclude yourself, right? I would think actually, Purple Goo, Pete W. Crucifer and Diomed. There you go, that would be my top four. So, yes, I do rate Crucifer. <laughs> 
Yes, he won more trials than everyone else by mile. Like he took it seriously, didn't he? And like, yes, you can say, ah, well, if if K Fog. Wait, did I say Purple Goon PW? I meant Purple Goon K Fog. Sorry, I just literally said completely the wrong name there. <laughs> K Fog, Purple Goo. I can't believe I just said completely the wrong name. K Fog, Purple Goo, Diamond Cruise. I do rate Peak W, but not as highly as KFOG. I do rate Peak W highly, but... Alright, KFOG ahead of me. And funny enough, Crucifer and Diamond. But again, I've, I've seen more of them, haven't I? That's the thing, and like, you know, they've proved it over more games and stuff, right? Like, Peak W's mainly from uh, Fumble and that, in it? Fumble and Tabletop. So, balls and save. It's, it's all the way back here. It's pretty safe. Um, I had a team can't remember what it was it was Chaos Dwarves or it was Lizard Men that like went 20 games unbeaten on Fumble and then I finally lost to Peak W and you know he played well that game like he, he, he's, a, he's a really good player it's just that because I've seen Diamond and Crucifer play now I've got a better handle on like how they play right and what their level is whereas I've got less with uh, PW. I've also got less with uh, Purple Goo, to be fair. Oh, don't follow, right? So what he could have done there was not follow and move the beast. Oh, he failed the beast. Blitzes this one, gets the power. Fancy Super League. That's what that's what JFI said. Just make a big competition and then just uh, just base it on the matchups of who you'd think would win. Like you know, Neck. Well, like Nurgle versus Neckle, right? And then like have these two teams and. I would I would make this a two one win for Christopher, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and then stuff like that. Chris will not run out of time yet. That is true. This is a one into an uphill. This is fucking wild. That was fucking wild from Chris, wasn't it? Didn't expect that. Exactly, yes, exactly, Order. That was that that was the thing, yeah. Oh, so it was that wild because it was he just gave him a chance of scoring, right? The uh Burboo's got no chance of scoring. So as wild as that was, it gave him a chance to score. Yeah, I hope for the two nil, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll be honest, I've been distracted by myself talking nonsense about uh, which players I rate the highest. <laughs> but anyway, the whole point of that was to say that I would put Crucifer on the same kind of pedestal as k -Fog, Which, then I didn't mention k -Fog. Literally, the point of mentioning it was just to put him up with k -Fog and then said Peak W instead of k -Fog. PW is very, very good. He's a legend, PW. But um, the point was to big up Chris because he is great. And yes, he took it more seriously than like other people, like, like K Fog. And if K Fog had took it as seriously as Chris, maybe K Fog could have won six chalices or seven, however many Chris won. But he didn't, did he? So, you know, you can't just say, oh, well, he tried harder. Like, he did try harder. That's that's good that he tried harder, isn't it? Like, it's not easy to pump out the amount of games that Chris played. Without tilting and everything, you know, like, automatic. Just, did, you know, just did it season after season after season. Incredible. Let's say someone else might have been able to have done better or the same. It's stupid, isn't it? He, he, you know, Chris did it. And he deserves all the credit, so there you go. 
Oh god, so for anyone who doesn't get that from Cheergan, it's because Team England had awful, awful, awful t-shirts that looked uh, very, 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 very dodgy. <laughs> they looked so bad, the design on them. It was like a T and an E, like, joined together. But it just looked really, it was just done really badly and stupidly and looked. It made you, it made you look twice at them. It, <laughs> it was, it was very odd. I hate moving this guy back, right? I hate, okay, well, it's not too bad because he's there. But even though he's there, right? Like, why is he here? Right? Why is he here? The players can only reach here. Just have this guy up here, right? Just have, have the other guy up here. Then you've got a bit more flexibility. Next turn, you, you know, you can move him somewhere, blitz somebody, something like that. There's no point having him level with the ball. There's no, I mean, I guess there's a 1 in 8 chance of him catching the scatter if you fail to pick up. But that's so small. I think you're getting much more by, like, having him, say, here and, like, holding more space, like, controlling more space here is completely relevant, right? So there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, open. It was like, um, it was white because it's England and then like a light blue oh god yeah no it wasn't like that that's also pretty good yeah well it's it's a bit like Ronaldo isn't it like fat Ronaldo um, well, how, what would he have been like if he didn't have his knee injury but that's fair because that was out of his control like what would be unfair would be to say what if uh, you know what if uh Gaza had trained harder and stuff and, you know, had been as dedicated as Cristiano Ronaldo because that's something he just didn't do. Or what if, uh, you know, what if, whatever. But Fat Ronaldo could have been the greatest if he just hadn't got injured. Could have been. But he's not the greatest, is he? Because the greatest is Messi. It was hard to miss. I said it instantly. I said it instantly. As soon as I saw the picture of them like playing Ireland, I was like, what the fuck have they done with the shirts? Like, it was mental. It was immediately apparent. <laughs> I like Gazza still had a great career and stuff, didn't he? Despite not taking it seriously. But even then, the people who say they don't take it as seriously still do, don't they? They just they probably just take it as seriously as like a normal person, a normal human, and not like a superhuman. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're doing the uh, wolf blitz on the killer. Oh my god! Honestly, Chris's dice have been horrendous. Horrendous. He's been banged out. He's done nothing. He just keeps one in nining or foul appearancing every hit. This is tragic. He's just throwing a sidestep at the cage. And to be fair, somehow, somehow, Burbu has spread out everything in a fucking, fucking weird shape. Nobody next to the beast. So he's got to move him into no man's land to even try and get the beast on board. I don't know how he's got into such a terrible position here. But I do, it was a deep kick, wasn't it? So he needed to be more focused on, on reconnecting his team into a big old blob after the, after the deep kick. Ball carrier blitz has to re-roll, gets the pow. Wow. Right, now at least he's reconnected. He's got guard each side, so he's pretty safe. Dub scold. And wait. And re-rolled in, team re-rolled in at pushes and then tried to pro. Still got two re-rolls somehow. 
What happened there? That looked like dub skulls. Was it just one, one skull? Was it skull push? That came up skulls. I saw skulls somehow, but it, it wasn't. Okay, I'm bamboozled. Anyway, he tried. He got pushes, so he's still on two rerolls per dude. You saw it too. <laughs> yeah, they're the dub skulls, right? And then, and then they switched to pushers. That was so weird. <laughs> that was so weird. Well done, Cyanide. <laughs> Flip me. But it was pushers. And he's still on two rerolls. That is a skull. So now this finally looks like the driver's okay. Oh my god, how fast did he go? That was hilarious. Well, the drive isn't over, right? Because these three need to disentangle themselves. And while he's got a really strong cage, and he's like loads of players up, this isn't a great spot for him around here. He gets the power there. Which gets in the blitz here. Which gets in the block there. And that's made it a lot better now that he's got this guy on the right side. This one's on two, which is great. Oh my god, Dub Skulls uses the reroll. Honestly, I'd be tempted not to here. I'd be real tempted not to. I wonder how long Chris thought about rerolling that. You've got one, two, three, four players out. Oh no, sorry, three. He's, he's completely out. Three players out from KO. You've got two, three, four, five, six, eight players total. Two of them are completely out of the drive. Like, okay, they can get back into it, but they're so far away. This guy's really far away. You've got to be really confident you can stop him to use that reroll thing. I think I would have eaten it, probably. Yeah, the pitch is horrible. Horrible. Maybe he thinks he can win in normal time, but I'd just be thinking of overtime now and trying to bang people out with my walls and conserve the rerolls. But you know, fair play. Cruz is a battler, isn't he? Cruz is a battler. And, uh... But you know, that still doesn't mean that it's not the right to lie down sometimes, does it? So maybe he should be lying down here. Here. Nice to pro. It was a weird blitz, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess it was because it was for 3D, whereas if the rotter blocked, it would only be in 2D, and then plus it gets the rotter to move forward. But then, yeah, it was, just, it was a bit shit, but he didn't have to move forward. Like, isn't one back here just better anyway? <laughs> Oh my god, fails a dodge. Kaz himself. Regen fail. So there you go. The, the, the wolves have been hitting with Mighty Blow as much as possible. And then they finally make a Kaz by somebody just dodging away. Dub Skulls. Use his last reroll! What? What? And quadded?
He used his last re-roll and then rolled quads. Wow. Wow. Honestly, I'm surprised that he thinks he can deal with this, though. Like, I'm still surprised that he thinks that that's worth re-rolling. Because, um... I wouldn't have re-rolled the first one. Much less the second. And, I mean, he ended up not re-rolling the second one. Way! Hey. <laughs> Well, he must just be confident of getting the stop, wasn't he? Like, which is... I think it's a misassessment, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, but to me it's a misassessment. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? Because that's all, all, like, you know, you've got to assess the equity, haven't you, and stuff. And, uh... I think I'm right. And he thinks he's right. And we both know that we're both good. <laughs> but uh, we don't know which one's right. That could have been sunk cost, yeah. That could have been a bit of sunk cost fallacy for him, yeah. Which, which, yeah, I mean, I guess you could turn that as tilt, you know, I guess you could. <laughs> yeah, Cruz is probably the absolute... I mean, there, he's the one I'd want. He's the one I'd want on my team. More than just about anyone else. But... He doesn't tell, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? That's the thing, like, I think. I, <laughs> and, you know, if you, if you put Cruz up against somebody else who's about as good as him, I'd still take Cruz because of you know, the, mental, the mental game, isn't it? Another cast. Oh my god. He didn't regen. The ghoul didn't regen, guys. Dicing. Absolute dicing. He scored early. He scored early. Like, um, so maybe Cruz was right because Burbu was scored on turn 15. And rolled, rolled dice and used a reroll to do it. That's weird, isn't it? That is really weird. And now, if he'd kept his re-rolls, he could have fucking scored back, couldn't he? But I mean, he w then he wouldn't have—he wouldn't have forced the early score. But I don't know how he's forced the early score because he shouldn't have forced the early score, in my opinion. So yeah, really weird. But now, <laughs> Chris looks unequivocally correct, doesn't he? Is the turn indicator bugged? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's just, yeah okay. That was a lucky uh, high kick, wasn't it? When it was completely away from everything. Bangs the uh, warrior, not warrior, bloater. I'll never get bloater right. This is this is really good play from Chris here. This wraith can go down as a scoring threat. Probably should get get this scoring threat in first, Chris. Gets the handoff. Oh my god! If he just scores, this will be hilarious. There we go, there we go, gets in another scoring threat. Love to see it. Here comes the bedsheet. Here comes the bedsheet. Glorious. Thanks, Odon. It's nice getting bits again, you know, I've been I've been bit starved. <laughs> oh, gets the knockdown. Oh, that was a blitz. Okay. I think this was, again, absolutely the wrong blitz. When you've... <laughs> he's got dodgers and you've got a tackler and you've not blitzed the dodgers. 
either of them that are going to try and score. <laughs> Thanks, Odon. Yeah, that was that was the thing. I don't know who it was, but somebody at the time had had bits for channel points things, and I was like, yeah, okay, that's the way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> Very odd. Alright. Is this a 1D? Oh no, no, he's got another player here to make it a 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Double GFI, is it? I think it's a double GFI. Amazing. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it was El Elliot's TTS ban was unreal, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that's what put me off. That's what put me off having it. Yeah, that's, that's correct. I was like, no, leave it, leave it, leave it for donos only. <laughs> leave it for bits only, because yeah, that was his was horrendous. Um, yeah, that was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Cruz was out of rerolls, banged out, and then Burbu said. Enjoy your turn 15 <laughs> for no reason. Um, and I, it's funny enough, I hated Chris using the rerolls. I would have laid down and waited for overtime. But actually, it not going to overtime is what won it for Chris. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? So he looks an absolute genius. I look an idiot. Um, no change there. But yeah, very strange. Very strange. Like, surely Burbu had to stall out that half. Like, it was not, that was not difficult to stall out. So yeah, unforced over. And, um, right, congratulations, Christopher, commiserations, Burbu. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.